That's me in the middle right there, guys. That's me on a Friday night, and a Saturday night, and on a Monday and a Tuesday as well. You know it. Look, he even has my hair. Almost. You don't call him hobo. Okay. Yeah, like I said, Jet, don't take this game too seriously. If you wanna haha, -ha, it's okay, but it's it's supposed to be a little bit haha. -ha. Okay. So we are on... Uh, I need to change the directory. Super Seducer 2. Okay. We're on round... I think we only did one round last time, right? Yeah, we only did one. Girl in bar? Wait, did we do this? I don't remember. No, wait, I started the wrong game. This is the first game. I just click here? Oh, damn, dude. I started the wrong game. We already finished this one. I'm on Super Seducer 2. Oh, damn. I debated you guys. There we go. Advanced Seduction Tactics. Okay, that's better. Is, this, is it fucking loud? No. Alright, so we did uh, Potty Totty versus Supermodel. Interracial dating is locked. We're on boss and secretary right now. Okay, here we go. It's a dangerous territory, but the workplace is still a common place for relationships to begin. How do you successfully navigate and avoid getting fired or sent to jail? Goal, date your secretary. Alright, I know you got a lot of you guys CEOs and stuff watching. This is how you find out, guys. Are you sick a little bit? A little bit, got some sinus problems. It's alright. Okay. How's your business going? It's going it's really well. Yeah. We're doing uh, product design now. Really? Furniture design, oh, yes. Wow. Very excited. Got two prototypes and they seem to be really nice. Oh, Everybody brilliant. likes them. But more importantly, how many followers you got on your honestly designed Instagram? Because that's more important than of money course. and contracts. Just 1,000 at the moment, but well, I hope we get more. Wicked. And I'm sorry I missed your birthday. I'm just, oh, yeah. the office, you know, it's a bit nuts at the moment. Okay, it was really nice party. Mm. Subtitles. Yes. So I wasn't uh, there. I don't know why there is. But, but it's not all bad because I've got a present for you. You do? Yeah. You ready? I think so. Oh boy, I have a pre Wait, this is my secretary? No, this is something else. What's my sec? What's my birthday? A raccoon, a gift a game on Steam, or voucher for yoga lessons? Gifting her a fucking raccoon, boys. B? Okay. It's gonna be great. Um, relax, close your eyes, and get ready for your surprise. Alright? Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, it's a real raccoon. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Holy shit, look at All that right. big menace. Oh, you you ready, Lilia? Open your so. eyes. Open your eyes, Lilia. Open. It's a raccoon. Oh my god. God, he's scratching me. Oh, oh you scratched me up, but anyway. So anyway, it's your raccoon. <laughs> it's my raccoon. Yeah, because your cat died. So I got, Tom died, right? So He did, yes. Now you've got a so, raccoon. Oh my, how long do I have it for? What do you mean? Um, he lives about 21 years. How old is 21 he years, now? holy shit. Um, nine, nine, nearly 10 months. Are you serious? Because yeah, cats are, cats it's are shit, let's it's be a honest. Joke. It's a joke. Dogs are boring. Cats are boring, plus I have allergy. I'm sure I'll be the raccoon? only one with the raccoon. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> I'll be the only one. Happy birthday! Surprise! Thank you. You got it, babe. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lilia, he's... your damn raccoon's broken my vase My damn now. raccoon? Yes. I mean, well, stay a bit longer, then take him to the house. Are you allowed to have raccoons? He's fucking smash everything. <laughs> it's been mine just for a few minutes. Well, you Sorry. need to train him faster, well, yeah? Yeah, I didn't have enough time for that. Oh, God. Are you sure I need to take him home? Can yeah, you can you help me clean that up? <laughs> it's a great present, obviously. Obviously not. Where the hell do you even buy a raccoon from? Well, don't you like animals? What's wrong with it? Look, I would, like, it's... On the cusp, if you buy someone a kitten or a puppy, let mm. alone a raccoon. Well, let's say it's, uh, it's in the raccoon shelter. They're about to blow his brains out. Right. And then oh, you rescue, get him. rescue him and send him off to the wild, not give him as an office present. Uh, I don't agree at all. Well, let's see if we can do subtitles. This is great, you know, and I'm happy we can uh, still nah, be it, friends okay. after. Um, Continue. You know, when we had sex. Yeah? yeah? You remember, yeah, yeah. that time, yeah. like in my house and we had some jinks and yeah. when you just broke up and... Alright, yeah? bro. You remember? Yeah, I, I, yeah? yeah. You remember? What you mean, okay. yes. Okay. Uh, uh, anyway, look, guess what? Um, tomorrow I've got this uh, new secretary starting in my office. It's a oh, big day, yeah. Oh, yeah. she good? Oh, she's really smart. I think she's going to be great. 
Yeah? I hope so. Hope mm -hmm. she can work it out. Mm -hmm. Let me guess. Do you consider yourself oh, I did, yeah, a thank you. of good? You summon. Oh, I forgot to shout out a lot of subs today. I'll do that later. What happened? Skip. Did I bug it? This is great, oh, you know? And I'm happy we can still be friends after... Um... Okay, there we go. Fuck. <laughs> Not creepy. Sarah, could you come in, please? Okay, well, it's your first day at work, so we should get you started with something. Nothing too hard. Let me ask God damn. you to... Okay, here we go, boys. Create a situation uh, in order to surreptitiously... What the fuck? What kind of five-head word is that? Surreptitiously? I've never seen that word in my life. Surreptitious. Surreptitiously. Check her out her ass, okay? Ask her to fax some contracts and re rearrange a meeting. Go take your dirty laundry to the dry cleaners. Sexually show her how to staple properly. <laughs> I wanna do that one. Tell her how you can't focus on work because you're thinking about fucking her. Oh boy. Alright, which one is the chat? D, E, C, E. E first. Super tiltlessly. <laughs> Uh, indeed. I think I'm gonna go for uh, <laughs> I have to go for D first. All right. So far, so good, but I've noticed one big problem. So we need to fix it, all right? Yeah, I'm Do doing it for it the Gachi boys no. in the chat. You're stapling. Stapling? Yep. It's just not yep. gonna cut it. So, how are we gonna do this? Okay, give me a hand. Come on, let's get this sorted. Come on. Okay, so it's all in the way you touch it. Uh, no Have it a grip with your oh little boy. finger here. Like that, get your thumb in there. Yeah, that's it. Grip it. And then push down. Uh -huh. You got it? Yeah, I, I got it. Uh, let me try. Okay. Yeah, try. Give me a hand. Okay. Do that. Yeah. Yeah, Ambulance! Call an ambulance! <laughs> <sighs> oh, oh shit! I'm getting banned on Twitch. It's real. Ooh, still I mean, got the scar from that one. Yeah, I think that was pretty deserved. Okay. Ambulance. All right, we'll do the E first, and then we'll do the real answer. Okay. Fine, chat. Sarah, we're gonna have problems, you know, because you haven't been here long, right? Not long at all. But I can't do any work because I'm just looking at you and I'm just thinking of fucking you, bending you over the desk. Boom, boom, boom. You know. What are we going to do about it? Boom, Can boom, you boom. Say it one more time. Repeat myself. Yeah. All right, well, you're very distracting, very beautiful. And I'm just sitting here fantasizing you, like fucking you here, fucking you there on my couch, fucking you. When all these losers go home. Okay, th that's enough. I'm sending this to everyone. Well, no, wait, 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 wait. Recording? You are gonna be fired for Joking, that. joking, everyone. It was a it's prank. A April Fool's Day in June. For fuck's sake, man. Bad one, right? Yeah? Totally a bad one. Really inappropriate. Really? All right, create a situation to surreptitiously check out her ass. Okay. I know. I know Look, everybody wanted it. I've got a. some uh, I know files, why you wanted yeah. I just had this big pile. It was really disorganized. And if you can organize them, it would be great. So just into different, you know, mm -hmm. piles okay. or whatever, like, you know, the FDA stuff, the different uh, various things. So I've just put them all on the floor because there wasn't much space on this big desk. So um, okay. do you think you can do yeah, it? I'll yeah, I'll do that. Just, um, I put them all on the there. floor. You can't see shit with that dress. I'm sure, chat lost, anyways. <laughs> you 
You got them? Yeah. Oh, great. Okay, um... Actually, they're not that important. Just uh, put them somewhere in your desk. Um, okay. <laughs> Alright, thank you. I'm sure this happens all the time, actually. Wait, that one worked. So, Charlotte, this is actually a true story from my office days. When uh -huh. I was uh, 18 years old, I worked for a software company called Autonomy in right. Cambridge, England. And the Cambridge, director England. put a bunch of stuff in the corner and then asked the sexy temp to kind of pick it up and he was just watching her do it. So it's actually a true story. And but she was just being polite and helpful in the office. She had to do her job. So what's she going to say? No, I'm not going to pick it up. But everyone kind of knew that it was... Uh, a way to just check out her I'm off. sure they told her as well. So is that a good thing for a boss to do? No. Don't well, I suppose do she it. doesn't know, but don't obviously do it because you're a nice gentleman. I'm nice. Very bad. Mr. Lorena, I've got a lot of mail today. What should I do with it? Flirty and cheeky to plant the seed of a relationship. Professional, because it's an office. Sexual, because this is your company, you can do what you want. You want to get arrested? Sure, but alright. Let's do you know see what? if I It's kind of the wrong question. Like, what you should do with mail? Mm, not so important. Yeah. It's all about how we do things here. You see, I'm the boss. Everything you see and everyone you see belongs to me. And here's how I run things. We're all like a family. <laughs> she a family that emails? fucks, right? Excuse so me? I need you to be more sexual. Yeah, listen, you're opening the mail. Oh, sexual. Putting for a call. Mr. Larina, I've got a call for you. And I'm <laughs> going to fuck you later. Here's your call. This kind of stuff stop is it. what we okay, need. Stop it, okay? Stop it. I'm just if beginning, you want darling. This, you can do I that yourself, it. really. Oh, I like it. She's fiery. <laughs> What a great hire. Sleazy boss, not the way, right? Never the way if mm -hmm. you're looking for a relationship. All right, let's do the right one. Professional because it's an office. Flirty and cheeky to plant the seed of a relationship. Eh, honestly, this could be both. If I'm trying, I mean, fuck it, dude. You're a pussy if you go B, right? A little a lot bit of male, yeah? Yeah. Quite big? Yeah, big. Yeah. I know what you could do with it. What? Just arrange it. You think you can do that? Okay, yes, that sure. Good. Yeah, I bet you could. Yep, okay. I've got them. Okay, bro. Normally, it's okay, obviously, to be flirty and cheeky. Um, in the office, you have a few reasons why not to do that. So one that I would give bad. is that um, yeah, you're going to be exposed yeah. over time, so you don't need to rush it, and you can kind of wait till you sense that there's something there. Yeah, you don't want to rush into it. We failed. The wrong idea. And you should be professional. Absolutely. Yeah, and sure, respect that was the right you're one. not professional. Mr. Lorena. Yeah, what's going on? I have Thomas Green on the phone for you. No, wait, wait. Hey, hey, Thomas, how you doing, buddy? No, 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 that's just rumours started by short sellers. You know what those guys do, pushing down the share price. 3,000%. <laughs> uh, no, 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 we only raised the price on that drug 2,800 and something. Only 2,800%. But it was really just so we can, you know, do better R&D and create more life-saving drugs. No, uh, fake news. Look, that's fake news. I, I've got to go. I'm fake sorry, news, that's meeting. good. Yes, yes, I understand. Another time, another time. Thank you very much for your call. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye. Oh, shit, I'm mad. Sarah, get in here, please. Oh, shit. Radio show, thanks for 12 months. Someone's getting a spanking. Yay, variety stream for the one-year anniversary. Tell her to book a hotel for you. Both at lunchtime to make it up to you. <laughs> okay. Tell her it's not a big problem, but you're more careful in the future. Make her cry to teach her a lesson. Uh, it's time to bully her into abandoning a game, boys. It's time. Do you realize what you just done? You put through this fucking guy. Fucking didn't pull. He's on the you're do not, not answer list, right? 
20 people are on there. All these shitty journalists, all trying to dig and find out stuff and publish shitty articles. And you put him straight through to me, the CEO. Do you know how uncomfortable that was for me? It's my first week. It's going to be your fucking last week if you carry on with this shit. Your job is easy. You answer the phone, you do some filing, you do emails. It's not rocket science. Oh, you're crying now? Well, fuck off out of it. And if you answer the phone again and put these fuckers through, I'll cut your hand off and send you to Saudi Arabia. Oh, I'll piss off. Bad, sorry. Yeah. Don't need to make her cry, right? Never make anyone cry. What about me? Except a. I might cry. Oh, shit. Alright, what's the question? Is it going for the right one? Teller is fine. No biggie. Uh, that's. That was a kind of a pussy answer. This is B for sure. I mean, A is. Eh. Sarah, do you know what you just did? Yeah? I'm a good boss. This guy, Thomas Green, is a real asshole. Okay, so he's on the list. You've got it there somewhere in your desk, right? Yeah. You know that one? 20 people not to yes, put through? All right, he's going to probably write a bad article or whatever. Don't worry, you just started. Everyone can make one or two mistakes. It's all right. But in future, just, you know, your job is basically to protect me from all these nasty people. My mum put them through straight away. Certain people put them through straight away. Thomas Green, sorry, he's busy. He's always busy. He's in a meeting. He's out. That kind of thing, right? But don't worry too much, just, you know, be careful. I'm a good boss. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do that. That's I'll be right. more careful in the future. Okay, don't worry about it. She fails one more time. Sending the hand. That's the right option, you know, in, uh, in any kind of um, office environment, if someone's working for you, you want to give them a chance if they make the same dumb mistake Three times, obviously, is too much, but you know everyone's welcome to make a mistake or two. Yeah, and again, he's acting professionally. You know, you respect him in his position. Mr. Lorena. Yeah. You have three meetings coming up today. Yep. Okay. First one with the FDA guy. All right, I'm gonna need the money bag for that one. Okay. The second one with R and D manager. Okay, he's useless. What's the next one? And the last one is with Phil Beckman. Okay, now you know I told you about Phil, right? He's very, very important. He's invested even more money. He's up to over a billion with us. Billion. So you know how he likes his coffee, he likes the little biscuit, all of that stuff. So just keep him happy. You know what to do. Sure. Okay, all right, here we go. Tell her you had a sexy dream about her and describe it in graphic detail. Yeah, that seems about right. Tell her to wear more sexy clothes to work. <laughs> Give her a personal task to perform for you. Then reveal some personal info. Tell her some juicy gossip about the marketing director. Alright, we'll do the A. I mean, he's gonna go in detail, guys. Just so you're ready. It's gonna be really de detailed when he says this. I've seen you reading those magazines there. Um, do you know anything about dream analysis? Yeah, I do. Yeah, like that stuff. Like if, you're, what is it, if your teeth fall out in your dream, then you're gonna die or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Well, help me with this. I, I had a dream last night. Mm -hmm. I was lying on the beach, eyes closed, sun beating down, sound of the waves, giant remember. erection. And then I just heard some footsteps. Someone pulled down my shorts. Then they sat on my dick, started riding, and I heard your voice. And then I opened my eyes. Bam, there you were. Well, what do you think that dream means? This is so, so disgusting. Yeah, what does it mean? It means go fuck yourself, okay? What does it mean, though? But what does it mean? Hmm. That's one interpretation. Okay. <laughs> Completely inappropriate. Uh, oh, no. All right, all right, let's do the right one. Uh, C. Sarah, you know my mum calls all the time, right? Yeah. So you know we're pretty close. And it's her birthday coming up. Really? Yeah, yeah, so I wanted to ask for your help. Um, it needs to be something, obviously, you know, we can buy her something extravagant, mm -hmm. but she really likes it when I'm thoughtful and, 
you know, you know me better by now. Yeah. So could you just think a little bit and see if you have any ideas, and then we can have a little brainstorm, you know, and see what yeah, we can sure. get. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. We still got a month, but yeah. No. Okay. All right. Thank I'll you very much. I think that was the right answer, boys. We're in. That's right. So it's already been a little while. So revealing a little bit of personal information at this time is cool, and it's uh, it's not super personal. It's just the right amount of personal. Yeah, and you're not really you're you're seeing how she acts and finding out something about her choosing gifts, a bit about her character. Yeah, yeah. You can you can learn about her character by what she comes up with. Good morning, Sarah. Morning, Mr. Lorena. Oh, call me Richard. Okay. Yeah, talk about how her weekend was. Tell, talk about the girl you fucked over the weekend with explicit detail. This fucking detail thing again. Complain that you had to work over the weekend to get over to get sympathy. Ask when was the last time she had a proper seeing in the bedroom. A proper seeing too in the bedroom. Rush B or a rushing B boy is fine. So how was your weekend? It was good. Yeah? You know, mine, it was hard in many ways, right? Because first yeah. I had to do all this, um, you know, finishing the investor presentation, all that rubbish. But Saturday night, this chick came around, Dorothy, oh my God, her body's amazing. God, obviously she came to bang, so that was all as usual. But get this, she wanted it up her ass. She was, so we had oh, anal. No, yeah, no, yeah. stop but do you it, do this it? is do you disgusting. Like anal? No. Do you like, you don't like it? Maybe no. try. I'm gonna take you to court for that. All right, as long as it's after we do it, then I don't mind. <laughs> Smooth. It's normal office conversation, no? I don't think so. Uh, and certainly not the explicit detail part. Ah, that's the problem. All right, tell, talk about our weekends. Complain about their work over the weekend. Ask me the last times you're probably seeing too. All right, we'll skip the D one. We're gonna say fuck you again. All right, weekend or complaining after work about a weekend? No, we're not gonna baby rage. I'm just gonna ask. How was your weekend? Not gonna do the. It yet. was fun. Um, I Skipping went a little to go karting with oh, yeah? my friends. Yeah, it was I'm so surprised. Much fun. Yeah, you like racing and stuff. Yeah, I do. Actually, mm. driving is my passion. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, and how was your weekend? I was good. I had to finish some work and then just yeah, relax, watch the movie and. Right, it was pretty good. I'm, I feel rested. But I didn't know we had a speed freak in the office. Well, now you know. This seems like a classic question to ask someone. Yeah, agreed. It's not too uh, personal, but for a Monday morning in an office, it's, uh, it's definitely okay. Um, no, it's but the it wrong might answer. reveal something that, you know, is, uh, is interesting and tells you more about her yeah. outside the office. Maybe you have some common ground somewhere, something you share in common that you can talk about. Sarah, how long have you been working for us now? Uh, for three weeks. Yeah, about three weeks, right? Look, I think you're doing great so far. You know, okay. everything's cool, pretty much. And I just wanted to know, like, what are you looking for in general in your career? Like, what, how do you want to develop? Well, my main goal is to learn and develop and mm -hmm. I want to get as much knowledge as possible in all areas yes. of the business. Expand the brain. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm very happy. Okay, tell her she needs to get her sights lower. <laughs> okay, that made me laugh. She just said she wanted to learn. You're going to make your sights lower. Alright, tell her that she gets an A for filing and F- minus for sucking dick. Okay, uh, give her career advice and mentor her. Tell her that she's working world is really for men and that she'd be focused on finding a husband. Oh, god damn. I kind of want to do A because it made me laugh. Listen, Sarah, look, we can try and do some stuff, like get you more involved, have you at meetings and whatever, but how old are you? 22. 22, yeah. I mean, you should be ready for the fact that you might just be a secretary, probably not mine, but someone's secretary for the next 30, 40 years. And <laughs> yeah, but we will try and get you involved and just see if you've got anything upstairs that will help you, you know, develop. All right? Maybe. Cool, good. 
carry on. Wait, I don't look at the other options now. She, I just heard her feelings. Oh no! Why would he say set your sights lower? Yeah, not very encouraging, right? Not very encouraging. I mean, no. Why would you want that person in your life trying to support you, trying to or build you up? Oh, fuck! I didn't get Sorry, the right answers. Yes, Richard. Yes, Richards. Jerk off on the phone there. Alright, we can skip that one not to get banned, boys. Invite her to a fancy business networking event tomorrow. Ask her what she's wearing right now. I mean, uh, <laughs> doesn't he see her? Why would he ask that? Right, I, have to, I have to do that anyway. Sarah, what are you wearing right now? Um, one what moment. What color underwear? Can you check the label, Mr. Lorraine? Brand Lorraine? Brand cola. Abort. What? Little bit lewd behaviour. Not appropriate in the office, right? Definitely not appropriate in the office. I can't do A, guys. A is an abort. We skip the A. Invite her to a fancy business business networking event. Come on, dude. A or pussy? All right. Sarah, not tell me pussy, what kind of food do you like? Food? Yeah, yeah. Just tell me. Um, I don't know. I like rice. Do you like lollipops? No. What's that sound? Nothing. Just keep talking. Tell me something else. Um. Well, I'm on speaker and with Phil Beckham at the moment. With who? Sorry. Phil Beckham. Okay. Cool. All right. Catch you later. Yeah. Bye. Smooth. This actually happened. Really? Yeah. What? Uh, Louis C.K. Oh. Oh, that was what he did? I don't know that was what he did. Sarah, are you free tomorrow? There's this brilliant networking event. We've got a lot of industry bigwigs there. It's going to be super, super cool. Do you want yeah. to come? Yeah, of course. Thank you for the opportunity. Anytime. Okay, great. Okay. So this is cool because it's kind of um, blurring the line a little bit between office and social. And you could do it with uh, after work drinks or you could do it with a team building event or uh, a business trip. But a networking event would be another option. But it still keeps it We're unprofessional. 100% though. Uh, just in case. Thinking. Play it cool when there. Oh, what am I gonna do there? Be slightly flirty, get drunk, and make a move. I'm just gonna get the wrong answer no matter what there. I'm just gonna go get drunk, boys. Okay, that was wrong. This is a little bit too early, don't you think? And getting drunk first and... Exactly. Drinking yeah. is bad, guys. A little bit inappropriate. Also, haram. One week later. Okay, here we go. Oh. So, you went to the event with Mr. Larina? Yeah, I did. Did anything happen? I've learned. Oh, it was a disaster. He started touching me and it was so awkward. Oh, what a <laughs> creep. Yeah. No, I didn't do that. Drunk on coronas. Hell yeah, Eco, thanks. <laughs> okay, that's what happened. Alright, play it cool in there. Be slightly flirty. Alright, we're gonna be slightly flirty, boys. Play it cool is pussy move. Says so the first time out of the office, slightly flirty. Mm, it could go both ways, really. A bit risky, maybe. Yeah, maybe not great for longevity. Gotta risk it, but man. then I don't know. It just depends on the woman, maybe. It's also that it's the first time, yeah. right? So to kind of get through that in a professional way is. I, I think, think it's a big tick if you can do that. Okay. One week later. Here we go. So, you went to the event with Mr. Larina? Yes, I did. Did anything happen? Um, no, it was fine. Uh, he was kind of flirting, but I guess that was just the drinks. <sighs> he probably drinks too much. Yeah, maybe. Who's the friend? Okay, marketing team. 
It's the weekly strategy meeting. I want to get it kicked off in a great way. So, who has a fantastic idea? Ms. Laruina. Gerald. Bro, you're not okay. even logged in. Are you been I'm working? working a proposal to increase our Facebook and Instagram likes. I have a three posts a day with the funny quotes, health tips, and picture of the people with the disease and whatnot. Um, we think it'll get good traction in the social media, so we'll gain a lot of shares, would we'll increase our likes. I'll send some concepts. Three posts uh, a day. What do you think about this idea? Uh, it's about going to cost about fifteen thousand dollars per month. Fifteen thousand to get up to hundred thousand followers within six months. God damn, that's expensive. I do one post post a month. Give him a big slap and fire him. Yeah, that's right. Humiliate the guy for his stupid idea. Smartly persuade persuade everyone of your view. Agree with your guy with your because your secretary agrees. All right, that's the simp answer. Wank and masturbate into the plant pot. What? What is this? Right, I'm gonna slap him. Can, can I not have to pick masturbation okay, answers, guys? All right, the rest of you. So you want to see what happens if you bring me this kind of fucking dog shit ideas, yeah? Look what happens to Gerald, and this is gonna be you. All right, you cunt. You're fucking fired. And more than that, you can fuck off, all right? Take your shit and get out. Five minutes. Security, take this wanker out. Gerald, how are you? Are, are you okay? Are you sure Poor you guy, okay? dude. <laughs> You're just bringing an idea, man. He's crying. Stupid idea, but too much, eh? Ah, oh, too much. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do the masturbate answer again. All right, we did the humiliate guy. Agree with the guy because you're sick of the guy. We're not gonna do the simp answer. We're we'll do the E. Gerald, I like the direction, but I've got something that I need, and all of you need to pay attention to this. Anytime you present me with a spending plan, I need to know how that backs out in terms of revenue. I'm not gonna spend fifteen thousand a month unless it makes at least fifteen thousand and one. Okay, so we need that in all of our plans. Do you know how much a like is worth? If you don't, you've got to find out. If you can't tell me, we don't do it. All right. Now, maybe you want to do something more targeted. Maybe you want to target FDA officials on Facebook. Maybe you want to target people with specific diseases on Facebook. Now, that's a good idea. All right, guys. So think about that. Anyone else got something that we can use? I scared the shit out of everybody. So yeah, you're using the knowledge again in an attractive way, and. Uh, it's also important for someone in power not to kind of exercise that power at any given opportunity by crushing, killing and destroying people. It's nice yeah. to, to do it in the right way and uh, yeah, I think it's attractive. Hey, morning. Morning. How are you doing? Good, and you? Oh, I'm all right. I'm a little bit embarrassed though that um, I've got a massive wine stain on, on my shirt. Wine stain? Disaster, yeah. I mean, it wasn't exactly my fault, it was busy, but we don't need that kind of thing, you know, wine stains. She looks better every never, day, aren't she? Never a good I look. So. Do you think they'll be able to get it out of the dry cleaners? Uh, yeah, okay, All sure. Right. You didn't tell anyone, did you? Like, oh, Richard's done a mm, wine stain. No. Yeah. no, no, I didn't. Wank stain. All right, cool. How was the business trip for you, apart from that? Uh, it was great, it was great to see those speeches, and thanks for the opportunity. Okay. Tell she needs to add me on fake Facebook as a company policy. Alright, dude. Ask her if she liked any men at the event and tell her why they are useless. <laughs> Use referencing the business trip to find out if she's single. Ask if she's single. I think C is the right one. I <laughs> just have to do B. So what did you think of the event? Overall? It was great. Yeah? Well, about my speech? It was really good. Yeah, yeah. What did you think of the other speeches? Well, I liked one guy, Robert Johnson. Uh, he talked about SMM. Uh, pretty boring, no? That speech. Mm, no. I'll tell you something about him. His Excel tables. Mm -mm -mm. Pretty, no, no. pretty shit, to be honest. Yeah. Mm, I don't think so. How about how he looks? Like, mm. 
He looked okay. Okay. Well, guess what? I went to the bathroom. He was there next <laughs> to me. Somehow I looked. I don't know. Tiny little dick. Mine's much bigger. So. Oh my god, you're so mean. Yeah. What, you it, what you, is your problem? You don't want to fuck him now, though, do you? Yeah. Boom. Excel tables. Tiny dick. Whoop whoop. Rival gone. Easy. So it's always unattractive in this situation to be, you know, kind of uh, getting jealous about other guys, right? It's yeah. good to just be cool. Yeah. You don't want to start off being jealous. It's not attractive. Mm -hmm. Better? Better? All right, let's do the right one. The A is creepy, just do the C one. That has to be right. We were away for a few days, you know, is that okay with, with everything? Like, yeah, you know, it's okay. You don't have cats to feed? No, or no, I don't. Boyfriend didn't miss you too much? I don't have a boyfriend. You don't? Okay, great. So, um... Great. I can invite you on even longer trips, right? Like if we needed to go to different yeah, conferences sure. in different countries and stuff. Okay, great. All right, let's get back to work. Smooth. That's cool. Nice one. Uh, it's kind of a, a little bit of a sneaky way to do it because if you ask directly, does she have a boyfriend, it's highly inappropriate, wouldn't you say? Yeah, definitely. Even though it's been quite a while, I think it's still important that you act professionally. And yeah, if it's done in a smooth manner, then I think you can get away with this one. Sarah, can you come in? Richard, do you need anything? Yeah, I just wanted to share the good news. Oh, have, have you seen the Wall Street Journal today? No. Ah, oh, it's brilliant. Those short sellers got fucked. We smashed them. It's brilliant. Really? Yeah, yeah. Share price is up. Guy lost over a billion. Everyone's redeeming their funds, taking money out. He's in big trouble now. Everything's brilliant. Congratulations. Yeah, we need to do something to celebrate. Give her a thousand dollar or tell her to buy some fancy snacks and wine for everybody. Damn, that's a lot of money. Take credit card and tell her to book you a spa day. Oh, that sounds nice. Smack her ass and thank her for her support. Tell her that you're not finished with those cocksuckers. Alright, I'll do the one that gets me in trouble, guys. Okay. So I let's arrange a team dinner, yeah? Like Friday night, somewhere nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just pay everyone back. But you know what? What? You also played your part, little missy. So I want to say thank you for the support. <laughs> Now you need some legal support. Oh, I love it. I love it. She's so fiery. <sighs> Sexy bitch. What will I do with her? For a job well done. Just inappropriate. Uh, maybe inappropriate, okay. Give her a thousand dollar. Wait, which one is right here? Okay, no, obviously not the not finish those cocksuckers. Ah, fuck it. Let's do let's do the let's do the thousand dollars. I know what we can do. Probably yeah. not right though. Got a little stash here. Take this cash. Grab it. Yeah. I don't even know how much is there, but why don't you go out, see what we can get. Let's get some uh for Friday, get some booze, some nice food. Sushi or something. What else can we do? Just little gifts for different people, right? Yeah, a thousand dollars every penny. Desk. Good idea. You get something nice for yourself as well. That wasn't so bad. Uh, cool, nice one, right option. You know, it's oh, good to nice, right show option. the love, be generous, and yeah, it's one of those cases where uh, people will respect you more if you credit the other people, even if you really did actually do everything. Yeah, and it's also nice to show that you're generous and that you appreciate everyone around you. I think that's a nice quality. Richard, yeah? everything is arranged. Oh, great. Thank you. Yeah, um, I just wanted to tell you something that I really like it when you're relaxed because you seemed really stressed lately. Me? The fuck are you talking about? Don't talk shit about me like that. 
more informal, professional, sleazy. Okay, do the sleazy one. Yeah, I feel relaxed. I feel happy. It's, it's that feeling like at the end of an erotic massage where you just jizzed everywhere and you just have that calm, that zen. We were so in, chat. You know what I mean? This is how to get out. No. No? You no. don't like erotic massages? No. Hmm. Yeah, I'd put up the hand as well. I'm Just thinking think. this isn't the best approach to take on that evening. Uh-huh. Be more professional, yeah? Professional, yep. Gentlemen, ladies, the other things. Well, sleazy's never good. Never good. I can't think of an occasion where that would work out for you. Really? Profes more informal. I'm going to do informal. I think professional is wrong. Even though they told me to go professional, I don't believe You know what, Sarah? I was debate. really stressed. And I'm sorry if I was a bit sharp with you at times or anything like that. You know, it happens. But now we're in a good time. So all is well. And I think you bring this calm to the office. And it oh, definitely helps so the atmosphere. It's so nice to hear that. Yeah, you have a great energy. Thank you. That's super in, dude. Excellent. Well done. Not Sarah, painted. you know what? 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 Chicken butt. Push her against the wall and kiss her. Okay, I might skip that one. Coolly invite her to a day. Coolly. Is that a word? Coolly? I don't know. Tell her it's time to add some new responsibilities to her job. Undo belt. Alright, we can pick one of the Pepeg answers, guys. A or C. It seems like Chad is split on this one. C. <laughs> like, this one is assault, you know? This one is instant prison. I don't know, you guys are really split. I'm gonna go with the non-assault answer. Well, this is also assault, maybe. You know I what? Know. I think you're ready for some new responsibilities. Would you agree? You've been working here a while. Mm, I don't know. Alright, got something for you. Oh, damn. Are you ready? Cool oh button. my god, oh my god, no, 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 what's going on? Someone your... please help! You gotta do it! No, no, you no, someone please help You're me, I'm up. here! No, I just, I just Come. wanna go home, no, no you ain't please! Going. What the fuck? That was totally diabolical. Absolutely ridiculous. The dungeon in a glass fucking thing. Alright, I'm not gonna do the A as well, guys. Alright, I'll do A as well, fuck it. We've been working together a long time now, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I think it's going pretty well. Yeah? Um, I do have some feelings for you, I have to say. Honk a W indeed, guys. Uh, what? You could potentially oh. have a harassment suit okay, there. Okay, it was wrong, but it wasn't mega wrong. Suit. Yeah, if you're pushing up against the wall yeah. and she doesn't expect it. But it's a glass wall so everyone can see. Okay, well it's a little bit worked at least. Is that better or worse? That's weird. I mean, now you've got proof, so... <laughs> okay. What? Better? I don't know. Yeah, and you're causing her all kinds of problems because uh, everyone will think that she's just sleeping with the boss for promotions or something. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well done. Everyone is talking about you in the office. They say you're fucking the boss to get promoted or to get extra stock options. <laughs> you're my friend, but if this is true, <sighs> screw you. It's rude. <laughs> Acting is 10 out of 10. <laughs> average Joe, what the fuck? It's a great present, obviously. Obviously Only not. average. Where the, what the hell? hell do you even buy I thought I was doing from? so well. Don't you like animals? What's wrong with it? Look, I would like. Alright, alright, that's pretty fun, boys. Okay, my hand feels a little bit better now. Okay, what are we doing now? Should we do Sekiro? Maybe a bit before we end the stream? Should we try a little bit of Sekiro? Maybe? We can do a little bit of Sekiro, maybe. I massaged my hand a little bit. Or one more of this. Could do a bit of Sekiro. I feel bad though when I do Sekiro like this and I don't announce it and people just don't know I will do it because they're following the story or whatever.
What is the next one? Oh, the next one is a bit edgy. I know the next one. It's actually interracial dating. Yeah. Why does it why does it have to be special because it's interracial though? I mean that's honestly a broad title to be honest. Alright, let's have a vote, chat. Let's have a vote. If we're doing uh, one more Sekiro. Quick vote. Um I know you guys want me to pick this one so you can sit and chat and you can type a bruh all the time, you know? <laughs> and I'm gonna have to pick the racist answers. Taiko, thanks for the six months. But we'll have a vote. Sekiro is more wholesome. It's kinda loud, whatever. Uh, let's see. Uh, Strapple. Hero, one more. Going. One more super 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 Sekiro. I'm posting guys in chat. Vote, 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 vote. See? It's posted. I see myself. It's kinda weird. If I do this, it's gonna start doing it on the thing. You see now? It starts. There's looping! Okay, so let's stop now. I'm stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I, don't know, I don't know what you guys saw if you saw the same thing as me. Our results. One more? Oh shit, this is actually a, it's actually a pretty big majority. Alright, we'll do one more before we end the stream. We'll, we'll do, we'll do, we'll announce Sekiro instead chat, so everybody, so everybody that's following the story and stuff can do. We'll do one more, and then we'll do Sekiro some other day. Because we need to dedicate a lot of time to that. One more and then we're done. Last one. You take about 40 minutes or so, so it's alright. I, I really liked our first really lesson. Really stream too long. So, Tired. what are we going to do today? We're in the restaurant. Maybe do some food? Oh, sorry, I got to fix uh, something. Okay, we're good. Oh. Some food, yeah. Yeah? Some names for food. Okay, wait, wait let me remember. Am I dating time. him? Uh, okay. Very good, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can speak a little bit of Chinese now. Mm. Yeah. Hey, listen, why don't we order something first? Yes. Where's the waitress? Let's get something. What are you gonna have? I think I'll have a juice. Yeah, orange yeah, and juice. pineapple juice. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Hello. Hi. Are you ready to order? Yes, yes please. Whatever. Orange and pineapple juice, please. A fresh one, right? Yeah. Lovely. And uh, vodka for me, please. Okay. Thank you. Vodka now? Yeah, it helps me relax. My language just. Vodka flows, girl? You know? Am I a girl? Help you learn, man. No, it does, definitely. I use it all for uni. Anyway, so... Okay. What's some... Uh, give me some food, some common dishes. The food, oh. Uh, fried rice. It's chao fan. Chao fan. And you can ask for some nice I'm roast learning, pork I'm fried rice, coached. which is cha shao rou chao fan. Cha shao rou. Cha shao rou chao fan. Rou. Yes. Cha shao rou chao fan. Yes. Thank you. And Cha shao rou for sure. Um, what's another one? Uh, um, you can also do... Xiang, Beijing Kao Ya. Beijing Kao Ya. Beijing Kao Ya. That's a lot for one person. Yeah. Uh, you can also try Xiang, um, uh, Xiang Su Ya. Xiang Su Ya. That's Beijing Kao Ya. But with oh, yeah? the pancakes and the cucumber mm. and the, you know, the sauce. sauce. Yeah, yeah. That's How really do you remember Excellent. all of that? It's nice. Wo Hen Er. Wo Hen Er. Hungry. Er. Er. Uh, 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 if you say uh, what, what, uh, uh, that, that means you're very rubbish. Oh, <laughs> very it's mediocre. hard language, dude. I mean, that's why I need the vodka. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Gun, Chinese, man. <laughs> Order the bad You'll see now. It's gonna be much better. That's pretty okay. funny. You had enough to drink, man? I'm Charlemagne. No man, I haven't eaten. I've been drinking with you. Trying to teach you uh, Chinese. Whilst you're drinking all the vodka. Habu ha. Yes. That means is it good enough? Is it good? Fish right there. How pale now. Yes. Very nice. I'll get a salad, please. How drunk am I, dude? 
看什么嘞？好漂亮，走。What's going on, Richard? Let's just focus on focus on the Chinese man. Western girls don't like Asian guys anyway. What is this ultra so... chat that voice? That's true. <laughs> don't bother then. Most girls don't like Asian men. That's why you don't bother, huh? Most Asian guys think the same thing and won't approach. You have a better chance. Oh, that's true, chat. See, <laughs> girls don't like. Video game nerd needs, Asian guys don't but most of them don't approach. Women. So if you guys approach, that means it's your chance, you guys buddy. will get the girls. She ain't used it's to true it, as right? well. Get in there. All right. She ain't used to it. Yeah, yeah, I'm right, always right. Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. There's hope. <laughs> Come on. Cool. That's the right option. And you know, for this level, I got some uh, great advice from J T Tran from uh, ABCs of Attraction. He's the top Asian dating coach, and he said that his clients normally have this problem where they don't really approach Western women at all. Really? Mm-hmm. I didn't know this. Persuaded me, man. I think I'm gonna go talk to her. But what do I say? Could you, could you give me some tips? Like... <laughs> tell him Western girls suck and only want an Asian guy for his money. Just tell him to be himself. Just be yourself, guys. That's the best advice, I guess. Tell him to be quite sexual, unless you suck a lot, you're useless, then you don't be yourself, then be someone else. Tell him to be quite sexual, because often Asian guys are not sexual. Tell him to ex be expressive, because Western girls think Asian girls, Asian guys are too poker-faced. Hmm. Alright, we're going to see, I guess. Listen, yeah. Look. <laughs> These Western girls think that Asian guys are not sexual. That's why you always end up in the friend zone. I'm your friend, yeah? So you need to go in there, talk to her, and be sexual. Can't she hear? <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. And yeah, this is really interesting because apparently uh, Asian guys can get away with right. being more sexual because it's against the stereotype. So it would, you know, if a guy comes up and gives quite a direct compliment, um, you know, or, or even is talking about sex, he can get away with it a lot more if he's Asian. So they seem even more confident. Yeah, and you also need to be especially careful with the friend zone if you're Asian because, uh, you know, women might see or As an you know, Asian, experience that Asian guys are normally not that sexual. Uh, so they might be ready to friend zone you, so being a bit more sexual is the way to go. All right, Rich. I'm going to do it. I'm going to talk to her. Thanks for the advice, man. My fucking hand still hurts. Okay. <laughs> look at the fucking stance he's taking, man. If someone takes this stance and looks at you, I'd be fucking scared, bro. Oh wait, you guys can't see it so well. Uh, it's alright. <laughs> that is hilarious. Alright. Uh, undo your pants. Cover your dick with a cushion and unveil it in front of her. Damn. Be indirect and ask her opinion whether or not you should get a piercing. Romantically serenade her with a little opera. Use a sexual opener. Uh, give her a direct compliment. Don't even say anything. Just sit down at the table as she was expecting you. Oh, goddamn. Okay, we'll do A and then we'll... Alright, fine. The music. Run away. <laughs> That's wrong, yeah? Uh, yes, that's totally wrong. <laughs> Got something in your mouth there? Huh? Why would that be wrong? Throat? Some water? <laughs> okay. Alright, let's just do... Um... <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna do D because it sounds fun. The last one because it sounds funny. Sorry, I'm waiting for a friend. The chair's free. 
Yeah, but my friend's about to come. S sorry. She can sit there or there. Like... <laughs> Just leave, bro. The chair's free, you know? I can sit here until she gets here. <laughs> but you were sitting over there. Yeah, but the... So go back and sit over there. Look at him smiling. Okay. <laughs> Act this is a bit rude, dog. right? Yeah, this is super rude. I hate this. <laughs> alright, alright. Okay, I'm not gonna do the opera, I can't. Give her a direct comp- uh, maybe he's really good at singing. I'm ready, I wanna hear this. <coughs> oh shit! <laughs> Du dör men nu stajen. Du vet det från i rosa. Let's fuck. Och för mig och mallat och det sonna med de mello. Det sonna med de mello. Det sonna na 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 do. That was amazing. That was very good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. That's that good if he is a great singer. Because yeah, if he's not well. a great singer, I'm a this great is singer. really bad. So it's almost right. If you're, yeah. If you're a great singer, then yeah, use that to your advantage, I'd say. I'm quite a good singer. I'm, the floor's yours. So my yeah, name is Michael. Not. What's your name? Uh, I'm Anna. Anna you. What yeah. are you doing sitting here by yourself? Um, I'm actually waiting for a friend. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do you mind if I keep you company until she gets here? Um, I think she's going to be here in five minutes. But I'll leave the moment she comes. Yeah, just... Okay, sure. Yeah. All right, <sighs> all right. Uh, so you said this guy's your student. What is it that you teach him? Dating skills, joke. Hang on a minute. Are you meeting a man? <laughs> I mean, I'm just, just saying it just sounds so bad. Chinese, ancient sex techniques. Pog, you, I want to learn. Well, I'm an expert in many things, and my friend here, he's going through a bit of ancient, a rough patch, okay. so I'm teaching him some ancient sex techniques. Uh... Ancient Chinese sex techniques. Okay, yeah. Um, well, they work really well. I just don't believe you. I'm sorry, I well, don't I believe you. I could prove it to you. No, uh, no, thank you. Actually, go away. I, sorry, can you I just... I don't even have to touch you to do it. No. <laughs> I'm Damn, sorry, but that's... that's a pro shit. Right, okay. What's going on, Matt? You can bang your brains out or what? Cringe is what's going on. Cringe? Pretty okay. Do you know any ancient uh, Chinese sex techniques? Surprisingly not. Ancient Egyptian? No, not that. Roman? No. Ancient Greek? We're going to go on for a while here, aren't we? Babylonian? Norse? Alright, alright. Which one is right? I'm not going to do the D, B one. Lame. It's pussy. Let's do the A one, the joke. Well, he's my friend, but you know, if you have a look at him, you can probably tell that he doesn't know how to talk to girls, so teaching him dating skills. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm teaching him Chinese. If you look at his notebook, he's. Oh. Chinese. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, that was close. Is he good? Uh, second lesson. Not too bad on the pronunciation. Yeah. Long way yet. <laughs> oh, what now? That's a great thing. Great job. Yeah? Teaching dating skills. Yeah. Yeah? But lying about it, not or joking Again, about it. Again, they're going to find out if you lie, so... And it sets a get... bar high, I've found. Like, I'm a dating coach, and then they expect the world's best date. That's true. That's true. Which I can normally fulfill, but this guy... No, couldn't mm -hmm. do it. Couldn't make the cut. Well, why, though? Um, I organize events 
So um, mainly music events where I scout out bands and solo artists and then put it all together. Um, that's, yeah, that's what I do. I really enjoy it and I want to do weddings in the end. So, I mean, it sounds like you have I've never been a to wedding in my side, life. You know, if you're involved with music, you know, even if it's just as an organiser, I mean, that must interest you. Yeah, exactly. I love, I, I have a massive creative side, so I kind of like do it, I like doing everything. And it's really nice putting people together and kind of mm -hmm. starting, a, you know, a party and things. I bet. Yeah. yeah. Do you, do you like events? Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. music events, yeah. I mean, Chinese sounds really cool. Um, could you teach me something in Chinese? Yeah, um. <laughs> Okay, say I am horny, please help me, but make her think she's saying she likes cat. Pepe laugh. Uh, that's a good one. Teach her to introduce herself. Casual races? No, Yanima is real. Uh, teach her how to introduce herself. Say that you'll do it, but you want something in return. I've been to China, guys. Uh, I, I basically know Chinese. Crap. Teach her some cuss words. Teach her to say, I like you. Uh, oh well. I want to do the A one. I'm not going to die. 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 That means I love cats. Ah, I love cats. Look at I do face. love cats. So what is it again? I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. He's so proud. Ah, nice, you. nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I guess I can't fail. So this is morally wrong. Obviously, she doesn't know that she's saying she's horny and she needs help. No, she'll and she'll have no clue unless she learns it quickly. Uh, it's morally wrong. Just like when uh, with my first girlfriend, mm -hmm. she asked me how to say stapler, and I said that the word was bungda. And so she was going around in England saying, do you have the bungda? So she was awfully embarrassed. Yeah, I was just sitting there laughing. What is laughing a, at her. What is a bungda? Yeah. Such a gentleman. She fell in love that day. Are you still with her? No. No. But she died, so it wasn't my fault. Oh. Is that a lie? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still doing it. I'm still lying. So I've been teaching you some Chinese. Why don't you teach me something? Do you speak any other languages? No, I don't. No? No, it's really bad. You've never studied another language? When I was in school, I did a little bit of French, but oh, okay. it's really mm. bad. I'm not going to do any to you. Mm. Like, it's offensive. <laughs> it's okay. But you must... So do you speak other languages? Uh, I speak a bit of Russian. Yeah. Russian? Oh, cool. Me too. Um... Do you want to say anything in Russian? Uh, yeah, Here we go. Blue, for your mama, it's cool. Oh, nice. And Talk do you speak mom. any other languages? Bit of Italian. Mm. Ooh, say something in Italian. Baffanculo. Uh, and so, Russian, Italian, Chinese, and English. Yes. Four. That's amazing. That's amazing. I only speak American. <laughs> What? Talk, Fortnite? What to talk about? Fortnite? Donald Trump? What is this? These options? Finally, we're getting some good options here. I never, you never, you always want one of these two options. Sexual positions or travel? It's time for Fortnite, dude. It's 100% so time for Fortnite. So, do you play video games? Um, not really, no. I'm not massively into video games. I'm really into video games. Like, um, there's one I play called Fortnite. Fortnite? Um, okay. I think you should try it out sometime. Basically, like, you, you play in a group with other people on the web. And yeah. you have to build a fort. And then you have to keep the zombies out. You know, you have to... Oh, zombies? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, That's cool. Yeah, you got guns zombies. and you got to... Oh, geez. It's really cool. Oh, so you mm. like zombies? And... What the like hell are you them. talking about? Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, yeah. It's a I'm, good game. I'm not that into it, but... I think, yeah, it sounds fun. And so, you basically kill zombies with guns. Um, is there anything else that you do in the game? You build a fort. You build a fort? What do you build yeah. it out of? Just the materials on the level, like, you know, 
got planks, Fortnite before Battle Royale? Oh shit, it's the OG and Fortnite. Stairs and boxes and rooms. It's like one of the most popular games right now, you know? E even someone who says they're not into video games, eh, they probably find it alright. Yeah. Talk more about Fortnite, you're gonna win her over. So here Michael is talking about Fortnite, the very popular game. Uh, what do you think, talking about computer games? I mean, if you find a common ground with her that oh she's boy. interested in computer games too, then oh great. Boy. But if you're just plucking that for mid-air, you could be really talking about anything. It's probably a no-go. Have you heard of Fortnite? Nope. Heard of uh, PUBG? Come on, Call Dora. Call of Duty? Yes. Boom, there I'm you go. I'm not that sad. <laughs> I'm still with the cool gang. So the uh, friend that's coming. I didn't get to talk about Donald Trump. Is it a girl or? Ah, uh, yeah, a girl. Yeah. Good. It's a friend. Good. So have you ever dated an Asian guy before? Uh, I haven't actually. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Chess, you need to try more. Asians is amazing. That's good. That's a rhyme. Tell her that Asian guys think Western women are not so feminine and ladylike. Oh, damn, okay. Immediately accuse her of being a racist and make her feel guilty. <laughs> that is the chat answer. Are you a fucking racist? <laughs> what, how Acting. old are you? Fuck. I'm 24. 24? And you've never dated an Asian guy? What, what the just, fuck? I haven't dated that many people. You come to an Asian fusion restaurant and you, you order a fucking salad. <sighs> you're even racist towards fucking food? <laughs> you're happy to use our restaurants, but you're not gonna... <laughs> Fuck! Yeah, he told her. Racist! Oh shit, dude. This woman's a racist. Could you remove her, please? She's already crying, bro. What do you think of this ploy, Charlotte? No, it's not very kind. I can't say it would get her on side. And cruel. Have you ever dated an Asian guy? I haven't, no. So you're a racist? No, I'm not. True. But this is... It's, it's just simply childish. Okay. Uh, tell her, is the Asian amazing? Okay, this one is just an insult. Let's just do the Asian amazing thing. Oh, well, you've never dated an Asian guy. Oh, you're missing out. You know that famous saying, once you go Asian, you know it's amazing. Ah. Uh, <laughs> it didn't work. I didn't know that, actually. Um, but oh, nobody's ever said that. that no. No. It's a famous saying. So here it's really weird because Anna hadn't heard of the um, common phrase where um, you say once you go Asian, you'll know it's amazing. Oh. You know? Yeah, I've n it's not been You heard that one? No, I haven't. Ah. Huh. Hmm. All right, but is it, what do you think? I mean, a little, no. Because she hadn't dated an Asian guy but before. I get that. The black I mean, one you don't is have really to good. Be, you know, Einstein. And it's amazing, really like amazing. That. Yeah, I get that amazing. too. I mean, still. Just scraping the barrel a bit there. No, all right. Once you go white, so you know the rest of, uh, is shit. So what things are you into? I got uh, the one. I'm into I got one too. I guess. Cooking. Um, I make really good chicken okay. pie. Um, the British one. I also really like philosophy. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Demonstrate some value by talking. About the secret. What the hell is that? Tell her it's a soft uh, science. That physics is the only worthwhile subject. Wait, I didn't even listen to what she said. Uh, demonstra uh, let's just demonstrate some value by talking about Buddhism. Oh, that's a Pepe Mods for sure. Let's do the B one. Science is the only uh, one. Philosophy. It, for noobs. it used to be an alright subject, but it's kind of a soft science nowadays. It's kind of dominated by postmodern neo Marxists who are just ruining the universities and the humanities. <laughs> if you're going to study science, on like, you should study physics. Avoid <laughs> philosophy. Avoid philosophy. Mm, yeah. 
I won't so much agree with that. Actually, I think yeah. A little bit true. I think they're two different things. So. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, so this is uh, blocking, right? right? And that's an acting term. Oh, and it's when someone uh, offers you something and you just, no, nope, shut down. I like this instead. Mm -hmm. That's the end of that conversation. Or it's rubbish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's or I nowhere used to, to do go. that, but nah. Yeah, it's never a good idea because then you have absolutely nowhere to go in the conversation. It's just a killer. Yeah, so I can do um, a party trick with a napkin. Okay, let's yeah. see this. <laughs> so I can make like bunny ears. Um, oh. Don't make a swan. And what else can I make? Hey. I... Hi, 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 Mary. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good. Okay. Um, this All is right. Michael. Yeah. This is Mary, it's my it's friend. Go back to sleep. Wait, what? Go to help him. Okay. Throw up on the table. <laughs> Try to steal, steal your friend's girl. Okay, I'm the other guy now. Alright, we're throwing up on the table, boys. So this, Get your uh, dance Margaret, games ready. Michael, man. I know, I know you're trying to fuck these girls here, yeah, but I just feel like... I just hey, feel no. sick. Can you take me home, mate? I'm so sorry about this. I'm so sorry. I just feel sick, man. Oh, maybe you should take him home. Yeah. Are you okay? Let's get you home, man. Let's get you home. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's not the table. Jesus! <laughs> Jesus! They do it on the floor. They do it on the fucking lady. Oh my god! Oh, my god. Oh, my god. What's that? Oh. Oh. I need some help here. Oh my god. Anna. Oh, I'm so sorry. A bit of a bad impression here, puking up on people, right? Mm, gross. Yeah, uh, go back to sleep, try to steal your friend's girl, go to help him. Well, I am drunk, so I think if I don't go back to sleep, I'm going to try to steal a friend's girl. So it's time. a trick that you are um, yeah, telling so... me about? Can you show me? Shit, I got eh? an achievement. Dude, dude. Yeah, shut up, man. Listen, babe. Does she trying to show us the trick? What are you doing? What are you doing? Can you please not touch me? Sorry, can you get your friend off me? No, 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 no. What's up, mate? No. You're drunk, babe. Sit down. Oh my god. What's going on with her? Oh my god. Get away from me. No, get away from me. Sit down, man. Dude. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. Do we have scores? Is there security? Babe, 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 I'm too drunk. I mean, mate, babe, mate, security. mate, babe. Security? Listen, listen. I'm too drunk to fuck her, but you do it for me, alright? Can you just take your friend away? Oh my god. Awful. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. So sorry. Alright then. So, stealing your friend's girl, your Chinese teacher friend's girl that you really liked what do mm -hmm. you think don't think so it's not in the bro code is it last i checked it wasn't there no shoulder again <laughs> yeah. go back to sleep all right we're gonna try to help him i'm pretty sure this is wrong because i'm mega drunk but anyways i think it might be right too champion of panama that's just three michael, months michael. oh that's really bad yeah. all right it's so bad already <laughs> What's I don't understand. No, no, no. I don't understand you. Dude. She doesn't even look Chinese. She doesn't get you. <laughs> Wait, what does it matter if she looks Chinese? He's so weird. <laughs> really weird. Sorry. Is that your friend? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a bit drunk. Look, he's had five vodkas. So. Oh, first time, five. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> first time. First time. Well done, it's the right option. Obviously, he needs some help because, you know, her friends come and likely they want to catch right up option. and talk. And this is a point where you can easily get sent away. So you need your wingman. Yeah, you don't want to get sidelined in this situation. Oh. So that's an interesting trick with the napkin. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. I was um, helping him. She's yeah. good in that. 
I guess you catch up with her later. Yeah, I guess The best wingman of all time. Yes, my friend likes to dance and sing when he's drunk. Does he? Does he? I bet he's embarrassed you a lot. <laughs> yes. Can you dance? Mm, not really. Maybe you want to have had a bit to drink. Yeah, but... I'm sure you can. Yeah, I, I can dance. Yeah. Yeah, I really enjoy it. So, you know, I'm really glad I came over to talk to you. You... <laughs> You're a really nice, uh... Yeah, I'm really glad you came over and had the confidence to chat. It's really nice. Maybe, um, maybe well, we could be like friends, Fortnite, actually. Though. That would That's be nice. That's a problem. Friends? Fuck buddies, maybe. <laughs> That's almost what I was gonna say. Yeah, great, sounds good. No, 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 beg her not to friendzone you. Did <laughs> you get friendzoned too much already? Oh, boy. I'm not interested in being friends with you. I have too many friends already. Ask her if she normally does this with her friends. Stand up and try to make out with her. Uh, I'm gonna have the mega simp answer. This is so bad. No. Don't put me in the friend zone. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Don't always put me in the friend zone. I just don't see you. Like that. Hands. I, um, I, I've, I've got enough friends. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. You're not a horrible. I could it's, be so much more than just a friend. It's just I. It's not. F I could have loved you. <laughs> Back <laughs> then. <laughs> you fucking friend on me. Oh boy. Oh, bless. Poor guy, yeah? yeah, bless him. Don't do this, chat. Okay. Fuck buddies, maybe. Ask her if she normally does this with her friends. Stand up and try to make out with her. I think D is right. I don't even. I don't. I don't, don't want to do A. A. All right, we'll do A once, and then we'll move well, on. Well, if my friends, you mean fuck buddies, then hell yeah. <laughs> no, I, I just meant friends. This actually, guy's acting. friends of benefits. It's hilarious. No, just friends friend. of benefits. You know what? Friends I don't even want to be friends anymore. Friends of benefits. Nope. Just strangers, actually. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Bye then. Bye. Really? This is gonna work for you? Did it work for you? Okay. Alright, let's get the right answer now. Not B. Let's do D. Uh, e is, uh... Yeah, I'm not really interested in being friends. I've kind of got enough already. <laughs> so, yeah, laugh? I'm looking for a bit more. A bit more than friendship. <laughs> okay. This is great because it's being slightly sexual and flirty, not too much, uh, but it's also kind of showing why you're there again, that you're there not because you wanted to make an extra friend. Yeah, and you're confident and you're stating what you want in the situation, so this is a good thing. So what is it that you do anyway? Well, when I'm not teaching Chinese, I work as a scientist. Wow. Uh, what, what kind Fellow of science? scientist? Uh, chaos theory like in oh. the context of biology so it's God a bit of a, it's a combination of maths and biology mm -hmm. <laughs> that doesn't sound that interesting what the do fuck do you find it interesting <laughs> it is about the fucking slapper or something show her how interesting it is and touch her say she is boring as fuck it does sound interesting right stutter say something it's just called science <laughs> boring <laughs> yeah he's never really into it fuck Wait, sorry, uh, Donald's not showing up. There we go. What 
I thought you were a cultured person. Thanks, man. Now that you said something like that, I think it must be you who's boring as fuck. I am still caught. I'm not boring. You just yes, sat you here are. for hours. You come into this restaurant, you order a boring fucking salad, you're wearing this boring white dress. Your stupid oh, boring damn. hair. Fuck off. Ooh. Fucking hell. You are the most boring, stupid woman I've ever met. <laughs> and you are a fucking bitch as well. Oh, damn. Stupid person. Making friends with a boring bitch like that. Fuck this boy. Fucking hell. Fuck, you know. This is so weird. Awful. Your profession. Well, there's no need to swear in that case. Okay, no, no need to swear, chat. Okay, show sure, how interesting it is and touch her. I agree with her. I can't do the mega simp answer. It will hurt so much. It hurts too much. It sounds boring. No, 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 no. Let me prove to you um, how it's interesting. Give me a hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, imagine I had a drop of water on my I'm finger and I put it in. on your knuckle. Right. Which way do you think it will roll? You know, if I put it right on the top there. Um, it would go down here. So the first time we do it, maybe it'll go down here. The second time, maybe it'll go that way. Maybe it'll go back. It's hard to say, isn't Indeed. it? Indeed. Because there's, there's too much chaos here. Why? Because the way the droplet falls depends on the orientation of the hairs on your hand and also the little, the little imperfections in your skin. And, Indeed. Uh, <laughs> overall, you know, there's a lot of information. It's very complicated, so, you know, it's... Quite um, simple, really. It's okay. chaos. Okay. And this is biology. Ah, nice. So that's basically ah, what you learn. Ah, combo. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's everyone's hands, not just mine. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> not, not everyone's got perfect hands. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Jerk or jerk Well, you learn something new every day. Sir, I've been kidnapped by Bulldog. Indeed you do. Being kept mm -hmm. in his sex dungeon. Let's, can I have my hand back? Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> it's your hand. Yeah, have it back. <laughs> so that's the right option. It's you modeled on the Jeff Goldblum scene in Jurassic Park. Um, and it's basically proven that point again, where it doesn't matter what you talk about, as long as you do it with passion, that passion is an emotion, it's contagious, and it's attractive. I totally agree. I honestly think you could be talking about anything, rubbish, bin liners, for all I care. As long as you're passionate about it, it's super contagious and very attractive. Passionate about bin about Laden? My... No, bin liners. Ah, bin liners. bin liners. Cool. Or bin Laden? No. Not. Nah. I'm going to talk about so how much I hate salad, what kind of food are you into? Um, I'm into like, lots of different food. Um, I love chicken Kievs. Oh, great. Yeah, yes, chicken me Kievs. too. Mm. Really good. Um, what else? I love brownies. Anything sweet. Brownies? Yeah. Yes, cake. <laughs> yeah. Do Anything you like sweet? brownies? Yes, I love brownies. Mm. Oh, can you bake? No. Okay. I'd love to know how to bake or mm. maybe to meet someone who knows how to bake. Yeah, oh, and so what kind of food do you like? Me? I'm actually really into sushi at the moment, you know. Oh, Can't nice. get enough raw fish. I, I love, love sushi, yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah. I love nice. fish as well. Yeah. Yes, fish. Yeah, it's good. Swordfish is probably one of the nicest oh, fish I've ever had. I don't think I've ever had swordfish. It's delicious. It's, it's What's so it like? oily and like tender. It's, oily? Ooh. Oh, nice. It, I always thought it would be like tough. And chewy. It's it's chewy, but in a good way. Like it's it's chunky. Okay. But it's, but it's not um it's not tough at all. Oh, you know, is it not? It's, it's, oh, nice. it's really like flavoursome. You know? Oh, delicious. It comes in like steaks because you know how big swordfish are. You know. What about yeah, massive. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's, oh, so yeah. you'll have like a steak of it on yes. your. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. nice. It's good stuff. You should try sometime. Yeah. Okay. This is going well. As a single girl, I was wondering. Wait, how will you find out if she's single? As a single girl, I was wondering if you're into dating apps or mainly meet people in real life. Okay, I, I thought I said I was a single girl. I was so confused. Turn into visually showing her what you'll do to her pussy. Okay. My friends are going to have a baby boy. I'm thinking about names. Can you help? What's your boyfriend's name? That one was good, pretty good. Look, I'm very busy. I don't want to waste time. If you're not going to fuck me, what are my chances? <laughs> We're talking yeah, of food, definitely. I can teach you an ancient technique using chopsticks. Ancient oh, technique? Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Oh boy. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. That's, that's awful. God, I have to go. No, that, have You're you seen like what it? your friend's doing? 
sim. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Ancient, guys. <laughs> Still going, huh? Bit dirty, right? Ugh, really dirty. Can you use chopsticks? Yes, and I use them to eat food. Just food? Mm-hmm. All right, D is obviously wrong. I want to do it. This guy's acting is funny. I want to do the wrong answer. You know, I'm a very busy guy, and I don't want to waste either of our time. So, you know, unless we're going to fuck, there's no point in this. So, you know, what do you think our chances what? are right uh, now? No. Just, just tell me the chances, yeah? None. Feel free to be honest. Zero. Yeah. I'm, I'm being I'm honest. Be honest, yeah? Zero point zero no, zero. No, minus 20. None. Absolutely nothing. Don't really have negative probabilities, so you're gonna to have to revise okay, that. Yeah, I'll tell also. you what the ah. probability is. You probability is 100%. You're never gonna find anyone. It's wrong. Maybe. Probably. Definitely. Probably. Definitely. Uh huh. As a single girl, okay, let's do the C one. So, so I got some friends who are expecting a baby boy soon, and they're trying to think of a name. Like, do you think you can help think of a baby boy's name? Like, like what's your boyfriend's name? Oh, I, I don't have a boyfriend. I'm single. Oh. Uh, my ex's was called Albert. Maybe Albert. Albert. Yeah. Albert. Okay, I'll I'll text them. Yeah, I've always see what liked the say. name Martin as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll suggest that to them as well. Mm -hmm. That's pretty smooth. Sneaky boy. Roll eye roller number one. Eye roller? Yeah, total eye roller. Oh, it didn't quite work. Just... Just so not cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> not smooth enough. So I've had a really great time meeting you and getting to know you. But I'm a bit worried about your friend, because my friend Richard, you know, he's a, he's a bit crazy. So I think I'm gonna go save her, let you guys, you know, have a catch up and then... Um, I'll be off, but you know, I think we should see each other again. Uh, suggest that you could come into our house and check out the Feng Shui in their bedroom. <laughs> suggest a meeting for meal sometime, just the two of them. Alright, we're not gonna do the Feng Shui one, this is obviously the right one. So you said you were really into chicken kips, so why don't we have that for dinner one night? So, it stops her inviting her friends? Yeah, and I think it shows social we'll intelligence, because it's like, I mean, it look, you're here funny. with your friend tonight, so it's not the ideal situation, so Wait, that was we can wrong? meet just one-on-one -on -one another time, and, you know, it'll be better. No, it was, okay. was right. Okay, I thought, okay, I got it. Virtual. Uh, no, there's no chance of that. Um, thank you for keeping me company, though. Why, why not? Uh, it's oh, she's just racist. not something that I want. But we've been Sorry. getting on so well. Mm. Like, we've mm. been talking for ages. Sorry. I'm going to finish this salad. <gasps> we lost? Same. Thank you, though. <sighs> she's, not, she's not up right now. She's not banging. Nah. You want a vodka? Yeah, yeah. Sprinkle this. This is vodka. Okay, dude. Make it all go away. The friend, though. Yeah. I lost to a salad. Socially awkward? What do you mean, though? Cool. That's the right option. And, you know, for this level, I got some uh, great well, advice from it, JT Tan. Why are you personally from, uh, insulting ABC's me here? What is this shit? He's yeah. the top Asian dating coach. What are you talking and about, he said bro? that his clients... What are you talking about? Okay, no, 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 this one should be funny. We'll save this one. I'm a little bit tired, guys. I'm a little bit tired. This one could be funny. We'll do this some other time. Mahmoud and uh, the younger woman. <laughs> we'll do that some other time. We'll do that some other time. Mahmoud will have to wait. 